Hi everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another thrift with me and haul video. This is also going to be a collab with Julie from The Thrilled Thrifter. That's my girl, y'all. I love her. We are finally collabing. Um, you guys are probably familiar with her channel. I feel like we have a lot of the same followers, but I love her so much. So if you're not, please go down to my description box after this and check out her video as well as her channel. She does tons of thrifting and she also um, shows you how she styles her thrift finds in her home and she's just great in general so let's go ahead and get thrifting and then i will see you guys back here for the haul so in this video i have combined two separate goodwill trips i have tons of goodwills in my area so i'm constantly just filming at all of them and then putting it into one video and if you're new here when it comes to my goodwill videos I will just hold up items in front of the camera that I think are interesting rather than walking through and filming the entire thrifting trip because all of our decor is up high on top of the clothing racks and I'm already on my tiptoes as is and it just feels a little weird to like hold the camera up in the air so I always just film the things in front of me as you will see When it comes to the items that you'll see me look for or pulled up to the camera, I'm really into the early American style right now or like a colonial feel. Um, I know that the cottage style is really popular right now and I do think that's really beautiful. I was super into that I think last summer so I may still gravitate towards some of that and then I also resell on the side so sometimes I do pick up things that I'm going to put in my eBay shop as well. Here's an example of the cottage style that I love but I don't bring home because I just donated an entire stack of plates like this um, that we just weren't using so while I think these are so beautiful I did leave them behind. This was a little musical jewelry box that I loved. I carried it around in my cart up until the end when I decided to put it back because I already have a few things like this in my stash already and I just felt like it would have been too much if I purchased it. It was also $6 so I felt like that was higher, especially if I didn't know how often I would use it. But it's so, so cute. This brass turtle is six dollars. 
What does he do that he's six dollars? He hides stuff. I thought this silver tray was so pretty. I do have a few of these in my collection already. Um, I actually showed one in a sit down haul that I just posted. And this was also $15, so no way, not today Satan, I left it behind. This is also something that I had in my cart and I ended up putting back and now I totally regret it because I think it is amazing. I just didn't know what I would do with it, but who cares girl, put a pumpkin in it, put a plant in it, do anything with it when I know it's not there anymore. I saw this amazing croc and freaked out for a second. I really don't know why because I'm not into the brown stoneware look, uh, but it's a shame that it's so cracked up. You can see that someone repaired it and it was holding together fine, but just that's not my style. I'm definitely not gonna buy something that is broken like that.
I think these are so beautiful. I was so close to purchasing them, but in the end I just wasn't sure what room I would put them in and how I would make it work with the rest of my decor because these are very like French country cottage and I do more of the rustic stuff. So I did leave them behind, but I'm sure somebody else saw those and was so happy to get them. I also tried to purchase this tall brass lamp here. I am hunting for one just like this for the living room and it was 75% off, but when we got it up to the counter, they tested it and it would not turn on. I was so disappointed. Now moving on to the artwork section. If you've been here a while, you know that that is my favorite thing right now. I've been loving collecting oil paintings and different artwork. This piece I thought was so, so beautiful, which is why it's the thumbnail. It's way too big though. I wasn't sure where I would put it if I were to purchase it, but I just think the colors are so vibrant and beautiful. Something about this shelf I loved so much. It was $8. I don't need it. I don't know how I could work this into my decor, but I love the decals and just the shape of it. I think it was so cute. It also reminds me of Nicole North Garden for some reason. I'm really not sure why, but that's just what I thought of when I picked it up. So this day I was shopping with my mother and we were in her truck and we saw this piece, we stopped and looked at it. It took us about 0.5 seconds to decide that we wanted to purchase it and as soon as we said it, a lady came around the corner saying that she purchased it. I was so, so sad because I thought it was so beautiful and only 40 bucks. Okay, so I found a couple of fall themed items, which I had been hoping for, so I'm happy about that, but I'm gonna go ahead and 
start with these. I did get the little brass pumpkin. Now, if you remember in the thrifting clip, it had like these like sparkly streamers, not streamers, but things sticking out of it. Like someone had like a floral arrangement of some sort inside of it. So I did take that out and I think this is going to look lovely in the fall time. I love brass. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. Maybe like a hanging plant that's more like fall looking. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it has a lot of like patina right here, which I love a lot. Um, some people might not be a fan of the discoloration and like whatever this is, but I personally like it. So I'll probably show a little bit of that on this side. It was originally $3.99. However, the day that I found this, green was 75% off. So that's another reason that I purchased it. I just think it's really cool. So I'm excited. The bottom says made in India. That's it. It's a decent size too, if you can tell. I feel really weird touching this stuff because I don't know what it is. Um, I've seen this before on metal, but I don't know if this is called patina or if this is just like... Is this okay for me to touch? Someone tell me. Okay, and then the next fall thing I got, this is just like a Hobby Lobby piece. Um, it's nothing too spectacular, but it was only $1.99, and like I said, I don't have a lot of fall decor, so this could just be something to stick on the wall or to add into a space to make it look folly. Folly? Okay. I like that the colors were neutral, so I just went ahead and grabbed that. And of course, if I hate it, I could always just take this little floral piece off and use the basket thing, and then it has a little... Can I use words today? It has a little twine hanger here. So, I thought that was super cute. Alright, and then the next item that I got were the three little bowls that I showed. Stoneware, I think. Yes, it says stoneware made in China. And they had all three of them priced for $1.99, so I thought that was a great deal. Let me see. I think these were 25% off. I wrote it down. Um... Yes, these were 25% off because this was the next week and blue um, had gone on sale. So, I love the green. I will be using these here in our kitchen. Um, I wish there was four, but whatever, three will do. There's only two of us here. I recently showed some little restaurant wear cups that I found that have sort of the same color and design on it. So, I'm thinking that could match nicely if I wanted to pull these out for some decor or something. And then the next thing I got was the planter. I thought this was so pretty. Um, I'm loving like these stone kind of like planter cement looking things. Um, this was at $2.99, so that's not a bad price. It's pretty heavy too. And I think it has like little, yeah, little roses around here. Just really pretty. I can't wait to put a plant in it and get that styled somewhere here in my house. Bottom says Elegant Expressions by Hosley. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. Oh, I didn't even notice. There is a little damage right here on the bottom. But I can just turn it this way and hide that. So, what did I say? Yeah, $3 for that. Okay, and then the last thing I got I love so much. It is this artwork here. I think this is so pretty. I've mentioned before in another haul where I showed a print that has this similar style. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. Um, the way I can see it, but the picture has like this blurry, hazy look to it. And I love that. I don't know why. I just love the look of that. So that's another thing that drew me to it. And I just think it's a really great summer piece. The frame has some damage here. So that kind of sucks a little bit. I'm thinking of trying to put some gel stripper on it and pull this like orangey, shiny tone off. And then see how that turns out. And then I might restain it. But I don't want to mess it up. I'm scared. This was only $4.99, and I thought that was also a really good price. So I'm going to get this on the wall before summer's over. And that is everything that I have to share with you for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece is that I thrifted. Don't forget to go check out Jolie's channel if you haven't already. And if you're coming over from Jolie's channel and you're new here, I hope you guys decide to stay. I would love to have you here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! <music>